everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing well it's been a little while since the last video um, I've been meaning to get this one um, edited and uploaded for days now but it's been such a busy week um, I had the shop update which went really well by the way um, I sold out in I think it was like 18 minutes um, all of the original work sold which was absolutely brilliant and thank you so much if you're one of the people who purchased something in that update uh, there will be another one by the way coming in June so if you missed out this time hopefully you'll get lucky next time and uh, yeah we're also planning to launch um, a range of prints um, some of them might be limited edition, some will be open edition and we have plans for greetings cards as well. There are some other things I would love to work on in the future but I think we'll start with prints and greetings cards. So we're looking into all of that at the moment. I hope to have some news for you fairly soon about all of that. Um, obviously it takes a little while to bring these things to fruition and um, yeah Dominic is going to be helping a little bit with the technical side of that so um, yeah I will let you know when we have those in the shop but uh, that will be really exciting because at the moment I only have original works for sale <laughs> and um, and they are tending to sell out quite quickly these days which is lovely but it also means that a lot of people are missing out and I know that prints are a much more accessible artwork for so many people they're much more affordable so yeah I will let you know about that but um, yeah while I was working on these pieces for the shop update I decided to just put the camera on and film the creation of them because uh, I thought it would be fun to show you a little bit of me painting we haven't had much of that on the channel recently it's been a lot of art hauls and swatching and I know that some of you had missed the actual art creation so I filmed this for you and I hope you enjoy it. title suggests for these pieces I'm using the handmade watercolors that I bought um, the other month I hadn't actually used them yet on their own just creating pieces entirely using the handmade watercolors so I wanted to do that and to just see how they turned out by the way I really 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 loved working <laughs> with the handmade watercolors they are so nice to use and um, there are many different brands in here you can see a good shot of my palette there and um, you can see that I've rearranged it slightly if you remember when I showed it to you in a previous video the layout was slightly different um, I had some additional paints I wanted to include in there so I basically just um, rejigged it <laughs> and moved things around a bit and I've left a little gap on the middle row there um, because I have some lovely earthy yellow watercolours that I'm going to add there because I thought it was missing some nice earthy yellows. So yeah these are painted using entirely handmade watercolours. The only other paints I used during the creation of these pieces was a white um, Winsor & Newton gouache paint for some of the highlights and details and also um, my old favourite the FW acrylic ink by De La Rowney. Um, I use that for some of the details as well but apart from that all of the colours you see are purely handmade and uh, yeah it was really lovely working with these I just think there's a really beautiful quality to the colours um, I feel slightly different to working with larger brands obviously to re-wet them you have to on some of the paints leave the water to sit 
um, for just a little while to reactivate them. But generally speaking, they re-wet really well and they're just gorgeous to work with. So you're going to see the creation of two different landscapes in this one video. Um, you can see the other one at the top of the screen, um, partially hidden because <laughs> I worked on them together. While one section was drying on one of them, I would then work on the other one and I just kept alternating them like that. This is my favourite way of working because I get a little bit impatient with um, waiting for paints to dry so I love to have something else to be working on in the meantime. So you'll often find that whether it's with acrylics or watercolours or gouache, um, maybe not so much with gouache because gouache tends to dry more quickly but definitely with watercolours and acrylics I'll tend to have a couple of paintings on the go at once and while one section is drying in one it just means I can work on the other one um, because I'm terrible for smudging wet paint so when I've kind of painted a section I'm always worried to continue with the painting um, before that's dry because I will find that I accidentally drag my sleeve through it or something and then end up ruining the painting so um, yeah it's better for me to have a couple to work on and just put the other one aside to dry properly before I do the next section but yeah so I filmed them I was working on them both together but you'll see this little one first and then I'm going to show you uh, the other darker moodier landscape um, that's coming up in the second half of this video and uh, yeah I hope it's kind of interesting to you to see my technique what I'm actually working on I mean I keep meaning to film new art class videos because uh, I really go in depth about my technique in those I really did mean to have some more of those uploaded to the channel by now but you know how things are you just get into other things and you go down a different path and, and life gets busy and yeah, it's difficult. But I do plan on doing more art class videos, so keep your eyes peeled for those in the future when I've had the, the time and the opportunity to film some more because I do go much more um, into the depth about my process in those. loved painting this really deep dark sky this is the color dusk by dan barrett i think he's on youtube under the name pen holder art or something like that uh yeah i only have one watercolor from him it's this gorgeous full pan of dusk and it's just perfect for this sky with you and i the future is bright So yes, what else can I talk to you about? Um, I could tell you about some of the videos that are going to be coming up. I have been filming for an artist vlog. Um, that filming has been going on for probably a month or more and I've just been filming little bits here and there and I'm going to hopefully have time over the next um, couple of weeks to put that together into a vlog. I haven't done a vlog for a little while now so that will be nice to have something like that up on the channel. Um, I'm going to be heading back to Suffolk now the lockdown restrictions here in the UK are being eased and um, I should be back in Suffolk for a couple of weeks um, if everything goes to plan and uh, yeah so I'll be hopefully filming from there so you'll get to see 
something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be filming hopefully some of my outings there and I'm also going to be taking some art materials with me because I'm hoping to have time to do a little bit of work here and there and so hopefully I'll be filming that and I can show you what I packed as my travel art supplies. I've been meaning to make a video about travel art supplies for so long and haven't got round to it. Um, so maybe this could be an opportunity to just show you what I'm taking on this trip. Um, so yeah, that's um, something else that will be coming up. I'm hoping before I go to Suffolk to film a little art haul for you. I know I said that there wouldn't be any more art hauls on the channel for a little while, but I did have some more affiliate credit with Jackson's and um, I noticed there were some gaps in my watercolour palette, not this one, <laughs> not the handmade watercolours, but the big brand watercolour palettes. As I'm getting into using them and I'm seeing what I need, I'm kind of identifying the colours that I'm missing. So I've ordered a few more watercolours, not many, just a few. Um, I have a really nice new palette that I want to share with you actually, that was recommended on the Jackson's blog as being very good for keeping acrylics wet. So I'll be showing you that and there are just a few other little bits and pieces not much but I thought it would make a nice little art haul video because there are some quite interesting bits in there and the other video I want to at least film before I go away to Suffolk even if I edit it in Suffolk is the watercolour palette video that I keep promising you. I filmed some of this so it is in progress but um, yeah I need to film some more just to finish it off. It's the video where I will be putting together all of my different watercolour palettes so I have a big main palette and then several smaller themed palettes. I'm taking all of my tube paints and I'm putting them into pans and I'm arranging these watercolour palettes, curating the different theme palettes. I think it could be quite an interesting video for you to see, just to see my process um, in doing that and my thinking behind them, how I put the different palettes together. So yes, that will be another video that will be coming up soon. It's really interesting for me to watch the process of these paintings back and uh, to see how they develop because what you're seeing here condensed into like 15 minutes or so is actually the result of hours of work. I've really speeded up this footage and I also didn't record absolutely every single section. Um, so yeah, you're seeing a highly edited version. Oh look, and here I'm pulling the tape off. This is such a satisfying thing to do. It's also a little bit worrying because you're worried it's going to rip the paper. 
but I've realised that if I heat it up with a hairdryer, which was a tip given to me by several of my subscribers, and then um, I just tear it off very slowly and gently, it's generally okay. And you get this lovely, crisp, clean edge to the paintings. Um, but yeah, here they are finished. And uh, yeah, I was really pleased with how they turned out. And I'm absolutely loving the colours of the handmade watercolours. You can see they kind of glow. I think they're really very special. Um, yeah, if you want to find out um, more about these watercolours and find out who I purchased them from, all of the details are in my handmade watercolour video, which is just a few videos back on my channel from this one. Um, so all of the information you need will be there. But yeah, I'm enjoying working with them so much. So there we go. That's the end of the video. And thank you very much for taking the time to watch this i hope you enjoyed it um, i'll be back soon with another video so take care of yourselves in the meantime and i will see you then